This is a very short video about solving a common problem with many antique sewing machines. But before I begin, I have to warn any professional sewing machine repairers out there that the solution being offered is something certain to make your skin crawl. Having been forewarned, let's get started. When we got this Singer Model 127 sewing machine, we were frustrated because the main wheel was almost impossible to turn, even after soaking it in oil overnight. The problem turned out to be one we had come across twice before, a bent main shaft. It can be seen as the main wheel is turned. It wobbles. Since old sewing machines are heavy and awkwardly shaped, it's not surprising that over their 100 year or longer lifetime, they get dropped, often. Because the main wheel sticks out so far, it's not uncommon for the machine to land on it, bending the wheel and the shaft. When this happens, this collar, which is attached to the shaft, can rub up against this ring, which is part of the main frame. It can do this either by hitting a hard spot every revolution, or in the case of our machine, rubbing so hard because it's cockeyed that it's almost impossible to turn. The correct solution is to take the machine to a professional and have him gut the machine replace the bent shaft, and then have him ask you for a horrendous amount of money because this is a very difficult task. Hammering on the shaft in an attempt to straighten it is also not a good option because it's more likely to break the machine than it is to fix it. Since the problem is that these two surfaces are rubbing so hard the machine doesn't work, I use a hacksaw and saw down between the two surfaces to create enough clearance so that they no longer rub and now the shaft is free to turn easily. Now the shaft is still bent, the wheel still wobbles a little bit, but the machine now works great. Just be sure to use a feeler gauge, a piece of paper will work, to make sure you don't saw so deeply that you cut into the main shaft. If you have a machine that's bound up after trying all the usual solutions and you don't want to pay an arm and a leg to have it fixed by a professional, and you notice that the main wheel is wobbling when it's turned, consider giving this solution a try. Now I can't guarantee it'll work, but it has three times for me and has become one of my favorite quick and dirty fixes to a problem that might otherwise be costly to fix. Thanks for watching.